Okay, based on the question posted, I'll go through this pretty quickly. We've got this system of three equations with six unknowns. And uh, what does it say to do? Solve the system for one point. Okay, so here row form using a Gaussian online elimination calculator. And this is what that's equivalent to right here, that system of equations. X1, X3, X4, we're calling the, uh, well, X2, X5, X6, the free variables. So we want X1, X3, and X4 with the coefficients of 1 to depend on those free variables. So here's what that work looks like right here. Solving for x1, x3, and x4 in terms of the free variables. So how do we fill in these, these uh, vectors or matrices? Well, let's look at x sub 1. x sub 1 is negative 8 times some value of x2, 4 times x2. So we put a 4 here, negative 7 for x5. 7 for x6. So this first row is how we fill in those vectors for x sub 1. Now, here's where I think you're making a mistake. x2, we need a 1 here <clears throat> so that whatever x2 value is, it will be included in the solution. x3, we've got a 2. There's no x2s in uh, x sub 2s for the solution set for x sub 3, but there is a 6 for x sub 5 and a negative, negative 2 for x sub 6. I think this should have been a negative 2. Uh, so for x sub 4, we've got a negative 5. We've got nothing for uh, x sub 2, so another 0 there. We have 2 times x of 5, 2 times x of 6. And x of 5 and x of 6 are free variables. So we're going to put zeros everywhere except where that multiplication is taking place. So we got a 1 here, 0, 0, 1, 0. And for x of 6, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, and I think that's kind of where you're making your mistake. Or you need ones for those free variables. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.